want to speak on one of the subjects that have affected human life so much. It's called money. I want to start by way of introduction that money plays such a vital role, a key role, a pivotal role for human existence. Everybody will need money at one time or the other or in fact need money permanently. Listen to this. Nobody is too spiritual to need money. Am I communicating? Nobody is too educated. He has so much degrees, he doesn't need money. Nobody is too physically powerful to need money. Nobody is too beautiful for money. I am too fine, I don't need money. Nobody is too talented. I, I can sing more than a singing bird. And I don't need money. Nobody. Money is so vital to life. That Jesus spoke majorly. He spoke a lot about money. The unfortunate challenge is that very few people. Including those who have money. Very few people know money. Very few people know the power of money. The place that money occupies. Or should occupy. The potentials of money. And the problems of money. Now, when we are ignorant on the knowledge of money, we become victims of the challenges of money. Somebody says, is money good or evil? Money is neutral. Whether it is good or evil, it depends on who is holding it. It's immoral, it's neutral, it's neutral. There is the neutrality of money. It is the owner, the holder of the money. That determines the goodness or badness of money. Why must we know about money? And this will show us the power of money. Number one. Money affects the quality of human life. It affects the quality of our lives. It affects the quality of our lives. It affects the quality of man's life. Someone is living in a seven bedroom duplex in a high brow area of the city. Another person is living in an uncompleted one room apartment in a slum part of the city. The difference is the availability of money. It's not because the person who is living in the one bedroom apartment in the slum does not like the seven bedroom duplex. It is the availability of money. When somebody say I'm looking for house. It's actually not looking for house. Because houses are everywhere. Anywhere you want to live. You can, you, there are houses of one million dollars. There are houses of five million dollars. There are houses everywhere. What somebody was looking for is money. If you want to buy, there is house to buy. If you want to buy 100 hectares now, there is land to buy. Number two, and that is why the Bible said in 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 17, 1 Timothy chapter 6 and in verse 17, he said, charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded nor trust in uncertain riches. But in the living God who giveth us richly all things to enjoy. I prophesy to somebody here today. The quality of your life will change after today. If you are saying amen, say it loud, amen. Number two. Very important. Money affects the focus of man's spirituality. It affects the focus of our spirituality. Money affects it. The focus of our spirituality. Money affects it. 
In Mark chapter 12, verse 29 to 30, Mark 12, 29 to 30, he said, And Jesus answered him, The first of all commandment is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. Everybody here can confirm that if scarcity is worrying you, it's not possible to focus on the Lord with all your mind. <laughs> it's, a it's not possible. It's not possible for 100% of your attention to be on God. House rent is not yet paid. 100% of your attention is on God. Children's school fees are there. There is a debt on your neck. It's not, it affects the focus of man's spirituality. That was why he said in the book of Joel chapter 2 verse 27. He said, and you shall know. Okay, verse 26. Verse 26. He said, and you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And when you have eaten and you are satisfied, then you can praise the name of the Lord your God. It is easy to praise when hunger is absent. Listen to this. It affects the focus of your spirituality because the time you, you need to use to, to, to stand in the gap, to intercede for the souls that are lost, to intercede for revival, you are using that time to pray about money problems. Lord, I need you to set me free from this financial harassment. I'm, I'm trusting you for a change of story. For how long will my life remain like this? Father, change my story. That occupies the prayer vocabulary of a man who has money challenge. But when bills are paid, when you are owing nobody under heaven, you can open your mouth and say, Father, I am trusting you for you to turn around the, the situation of our nation. I am trusting you for the salvation of the laws. I am trusting you for deliverance of, 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 of so and so person. Money is so powerful that it affects the focus of our spirituality. Number three. This is very, very serious. Money reveals the reality of our character. It reveals the reality of man's character. It affects the focus of man's spirituality. It reveals the reality of man's character. It unveils the true nature and identity of a person. You don't know people in, hum in poverty. You don't know who they are. It's in prosperity you know who people are. Most people have an impartation of humility where there is poverty. They are very, very sober. Very, very gentle. Very, very cool. Very, very amenable. Easily entreatable. You can discuss with them. Abraham Lincoln said, you don't know anybody in adversity. If you want to know anybody, give him power. And one of the powers you can give to somebody to know him is the power of money. That man will not marry plenty wives in poverty. But the marriage of many wives is inside him. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. It's inside their body. But poverty can't support such a lifestyle. It is when money arrives that he now realizes that his wife is getting old. He needs to change his, his wife like he changes his car. <laughs> Am I communicating? That is, that, that is when you know people is frequenting church because there is no money. Let money arrive. That is where you will know is real church attendance. That is why you need to have plenty money so you can know your true character. I will say another thing very soon. That humble man, gentle man, becomes proud becomes arrogant, becomes very rude, can talk to anybody anyhow because he has some money. There is nothing that unravels character like money.
Wow, wow, wow. We believe you've been blessed by this message. Watch out for the continuation of this message. For all our old subscribers, we appreciate you for constantly watching and listening to our content. If you are new to this channel, you are welcome. Kindly watch, listen, comment, hit the like button, share with friends and family, and subscribe for more inspiring messages. God bless you.